I use Kermit as a model for the priesthood for several reasons. He wears a collar, visible. He's very reflective, prayerful. He gives good advice, verbal. He leads by example, does the right thing. And he's an overall great guy. So I was trying to find out if Kermit was eligible to be a pope, and I found a blog that says he's the perfect example of a Catholic priest. Well, what do you expect? He's a man of the cloth. <laughs> Wait, why were you trying to find out if Kermit was eligible to be a Catholic priest? Usual reasons. I love handling meat because the texture feels good and it's really squishy. I just don't like the sticky hands or the smell. Nobody say a goddamn thing. I would love to handle some meat sometime. See, this is what happens when we don't have kink at Pride. What are you talking about? This is clearly humiliation kink. Perceive with your eyeballs. <laughs> Kim Possible without her iconic mustache. I... I hate it. I hate it. Found a footage horror movie, but instead of the monster attacking the crew, it just steals the camera and the rest of the film is the crew chasing the monster to get it back. OP? Your mind? Me not understanding a movie. Wow. The cinematography. I forgot how fucking weird November is. There's no afternoon. It, it's just night after 2 p.m. When it rains, you simply just do not get a day. Northern Hemisphere people, are you okay? Northern Hemisphere person here? No. <sighs> my sort of off. Sent my teacher the draft. Sent the link and realized the doc is still titled Game <laughs> Should probably fix that. This is like ripping the bandaid off and finding out you somehow forgot to clean your wound thoroughly from when you scraped it by landing in a pile of puzzle pieces. And so now a puzzle piece is stuck to your cut and you just have to rip that off too. According to a recent survey, replacing words with the names of musical instruments in a sentence often goes undetected. I'm so fucking angry. This is what I eat in standard candy bars. Block poop. Netherite brick. Minecraft ass blunt beef. Ingrid. Infinite Popak. They ate that shit on Snowpiercer. Eat fucking brick, babe. Nah, man. That's Pete. Cement. That, that's concrete, baby. You know, Kane killed Abel with that. When my family went to Disney World, we went on the Haunted Mansion ride. And this actor, dressed as a skeleton, came off to our cart and got right in my three-year-old brother's face and whispered, Are you scared? And my brother kissed him on the nose, and the guy laughed so hard, he had to leave. Fucky! The world is ending! No, man. It's just Monday. Hi, really sorry to bother you, but I just wanted to let you know that you reblogged a post from another Tumblr user. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. You know, yes, Chief Dad, we don't do exclusive that stream. We are Capricorn! We just post over file. I don't even fucking know how to do this one, Max. Every tight knit friend group got the always at one HP, never has inventory space, refuses to wear armor. Oh, don't worry, I would never fire beams. I would. Beam attack. Probably a bad RPG idea. A bard masquerading as a skilled archer and his friend, a rogue who sneaks around stabbing people with arrows. Everyone just thinks he never misses. I'm not gonna like I don't wanna see that in action. The black nose shark is not known to pose a danger to humans. Yeah, man. We can tell. He looks like he's on the verge of sobbing. Mommy man, you want to please? <laughs> you know, making times for friends would be so much easier if I were the legendary Pokemon Dialga. You know, sometimes a theme occurs in your work without your permission. And sometimes it reaches a threshold where you're like, well, now I think this is like, this is saying something about me against my will. Don't know what though. There's no way to fix a cigarette that broke in half. Here are some things you can do instead of smoking. Call a friend or family member. Write a letter to your future self or journal. Clean your car. Do a crossword puzzle. Yeah, hey mom, I know it's been a while since I called. I got bad news. My cigarette broke in half. Yeah... Yeah, Google said no way to fix it either. I would never start gaming past 10 p.m., but I will often keep gaming past 10 p.m. Do you understand? 
If I've been gaming for a while and I see it's 10 p.m., it's like, oh, yes, still time for a few quests. But if I haven't started gaming yet, I'm like, ah, oh, well, perhaps it's time for my nightly respite. Holy fuck, it's finally in words. When you have CEOs, directors, managers, and those who make way more than you, as the lowly IT guy wondering how they get any work done when they suddenly panic that their webcam isn't working, they were defeated by a slidey bit of plastic. Oh my god. This explains so much, doesn't it? A big fan of stiletto snakes for looking like someone's drawing of a snake. Not gonna lie. Hey, looks pretty cool. Fun thing about picking up a cat from the street is that they know a negative amount of rules and will commit entirely new crimes. Like, ma'am, what are you doing in there? You're not a fool. I love fighting game rosters because it's like, here's the most attractive woman you've ever seen. Here's an absolute freak of nature. Here's a beautiful trans woman. Here's a very gay young man. Here's the coolest guy you've ever seen and he's wielding a big sword. Here's a gorgeous non-binary person. Here's just a creature. Here's a man who probably doesn't know what fractions are. Here's a guy where if he touches you, you die instantly. And here's a lesbian that likes to kick you. Man, Guilty Gears cast is great. Middle-aged lady on my bus just called someone's partner your whimsical idiot boyfriend over the phone. With sincere frustration, might I add. I strive to be her. I love when fiction makes the audience feel guilty about their role as the audience. When something fucked up is treated as a joke, but later it's recognized how fucked up it was, and the audience feels guilty for finding it funny. When a character breaks the fourth wall to plead for help and you can't do anything, so you just watch, and you know that the character's pain isn't real, but they're begging for help and you're not helping because their suffering is entertainment for you. Blue's Clues? How do I get inside your head? We need 15 to 20 episode seasons again. These limited series have the worst pacing in the world and none of the character decisions hold any weight. We are slowly killing the difference between television and movies. TV seasons have six to eight hour long episodes. Movies are part one and part two and both halves are nearly three hours long. Both of them have too much time and not enough time for the characters to struggle and grow and change. What makes a story better suited for television or film is becoming irrelevant because we are erasing the distinctions and that's bad for both of them. Do you ever wonder if your choice of Blorbo is random baby chicken printing? Or in fact, a deep psychological profile that reveals all the things you need therapy for. Now we don't have time to unpack all of that! Astonishing how good it can feel to get some chores done sometimes. You'll be sitting there like, Damn, I am some type of horror little schmeagle like creature who should be crushed to death. But then you do some laundry and you're like, Wow, I'm actually God's most fuckable soldier. Wizards are all high and mighty casting fireball until the Blade Singer shows up and casts Flaming Sword Rain! Blade singer be like, the future is now, old man. I just saw someone use the word fapping, and it gave me whatever the negative version of nostalgia is. See, nostalgia is a neutral term that can display both positive and negative emotion. You've just experienced some bad nostalgia. Nostalgia with the emphasis on the no. I love it when dogs try to help, but the task at hand requires zero dogs, so they kind of just stand in front of you and look serious. Yeah, middle-aged men do this too. Writing prompt. So what's your power, said the all-seeing, super-powered individual? Telekinesis, you said. So it's not the ability to order around the invisible monster that follows you around? The fucking what? Sir? Ma'am? This is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That is Jotaro Kujo. And that monster's name is Star-Fucking-Platinum, and you will treat him with respect!